have a witness here today who thoroughly investigated that issue. Mr. Pack, I want to thank you for appearing before us today. You were appointed by President Trump to serve as a U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Georgia, and you served from 2017 until January of 2021. You were the lead federal prosecutor there and worked for the Department of Justice under then Attorney General Bill Barr. Now, were you ever asked by Attorney General Barr to investigate claims of voter fraud in the 2020 election? And if so, what were those claims? Thank you, Congressman Loughran. Thank you for the question. Uh, approximately December 4th, I believe, of 2020, uh, Attorney General Barr and I had a conversation about an unrelated case to the case at issue. At the end of the conversation, Mr. Barr had asked me if I had seen a certain videotape that was being reported in the news where Mr. Giuliani, in a Senate subcommittee hearing that was held the day before, May 3rd, showed a videotape of a purportedly um, a security tape at the State Farm Arena in Atlanta, which is also in Fulton County, in the city of Atlanta. Uh, I'm sorry, city of, uh, yes. At the time, Mr. Barr asked me that he had um, made a public statement that he had not seen any um, widespread election fraud that would um, question the um, outcome of the election. And because of the videotape and the serious allegation that Mr. Giuliani was making with respect to the suitcase full of ballots purported in the, the video, he asked me to find out what I could about it because he had envisioned that in some days after our call that he was going to go to the White House for a meeting and then that issue might come up. He asked me to make it a priority to get to the bottom of, uh, to try to substantiate the allegation made by Mr. Giuliani. Uh, thank you. I understand the Georgia Secretary of State's office investigated uh, those State Farm Arena allegations and didn't find any evidence of fraud. What did you find when your office conducted, uh, conducted its own investigation? We found that the suitcase full of ballots, the alleged black suitcase that was being seen pulled from under the table, was actually an, an official lockbox where um, ballots were kept safe. We found out that there was a mistake in terms of a misunderstanding that they were done counting ballots or tallying ballots for the night, and the, the partisan uh, watchers that was assigned by each of the respective parties were announced to send home. Well, once they realized the mistake, someone from the Secretary of State's office had indicated that, no, 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 we're not done for the night. You need to go ahead and, and continue counting. Um, so once they packed up the lockbox full of ballots, they brought back the official ballot box again and continued to uh, tally the ballots from that, from the, the lockbox. Um, unfortunately, during the Senate hearing, uh, Mr. Giuliani only played a clip that showed them pulling out the official ballot box from under the table um, and referring to that as a smoking gun of a fraud in, in Fulton County. But in actuality, in review of the entire uh, video, uh, it showed that that was actually an official ballot box that would kept underneath the, the tables. And then they, we saw them pack up because of the announcement that they thought they were done for the night. And then once the announcement was made that you should continue counting, they brought the ballot back, back out and they continued to count. We interviewed, the FBI interviewed the individuals that are depicted in the, the videos uh, that purportedly were double, triple counting of the ballots and determined that uh, nothing irregular happened in the counting and the allegations made by Mr. Giuliani uh, were false. Thank you very much. I'd like to uh, play again um, a testimony from Mr. Donahue who appeared before the committee before today. Mr. Donahue, you, we talked at some length about um, whether or not the White House or the President was informed about the Antrim report. Um, on the um, results of the investigations, the interviews that have gone on on Fulton County, um, how would those results have been communicated uh, to the White House, to the President? I don't know how they were initially communicated. I do know that they came up in subsequent conversations with the President. 
and Dad Rose and I essentially told him we looked into that and it's just not true. Okay, so he uh, was in, he I, was informed. I told the president myself that several times in several conversations that these allegations about ballots being smuggled in in the suitcase and run through the machine several times, it was not true. That we looked at, we looked at the video, we interviewed the witnesses, it was not true. Mr. Pack, after you left the U.S. Attorney's Office on January 4th, 2021, did the next U.S. Attorney there, I think Mr. Trump's personal pick, Bobby Christine, did he investigate any remaining claims of fraud? And if so, did he find any evidence that supported the president's claims of voter fraud? It is my understanding that Mr. Christine continued any investigations that were pending at the time of my departure, but he was unable to find any uh, evidence of fraud that affected the outcome of the election. So after investigating the president's and Mr. Giuliani's claims about voter fraud in Georgia, is it your view today that there was no evidence of widespread fraud sufficient to undermine confidence in the outcome of the election in Georgia? That is correct. Thank you, Mr. Pack. And I want to thank you also for the service that you've given to our country. We appreciate that.